Yes. Nice one. Righto folks, we've come down to the Logan River today to see if we can catch a few whiting or, or a few brim or something like that. We're going to try out the new Snyder glass rods that Wilson's have released in the last few weeks. Um, Clint from Wilson's has been had a fair bit to do with the um, you know the building and that side of the Snyder glass rods, so I might let him talk about the Snyder a little bit. Yes, in 2009 Wilson purchased uh, Snyder glass and uh, with the help of uh, the boss of Snyder, Adrian de Berg, um, we have reintroduced the Snyder range. Okay, what we're looking for on the sounder is a corrugated bottom. We're looking for rises in the sounder that come up around two, three hundred millimetres and then slope back down. What we'll find is that the whiting will be sitting in the bottom of the, um, of the corrugation there, waiting for the, the current to come across the top, which produce yabbies, worms, and hopefully our baits. I'm just going to show you a basic whiting rig that I use. It's a running ball sinker connected to a trace of about a metre, 1200 long, and then connected to a number four mustard fine worm hook. This is how I put a uh, worm on a hook. I uh, find the, the, the head section of the, the worm. Don't put it on head first and put on tail first. It'll just keep breaking up into pieces. So that, hence why you put it on the, the head first. Um, poke it in into the area of the head area, slide it up around to the top of the hook um, and then break it off. I like to l break it off at the point. I don't like to leave a tail just for the whiting, the, the sneaky little things and they'll, uh, they'll suck the worm off the hook. I noticed with this whiting fishing you actually don't fish with the rod in your hand. You actually let the rod, rod sit down. What's the, what's the concept of that? I just just feel, try if you got got it in your hand, you got the urgency to strike or or um, you know pull the hook out of the fish's mouth. When the when they're in the rod holder, you know you let them have a bite, feed them some line, feels no resistance at all. It's really a gentleman's way of fishing, isn't it? Like this, sit back with the rod in the rod holder and uh, keep your eye on it and wait for it to start bending over and pick it up. As you can see. The action of these rods is you've got such quite a fair bit of forgiveness in them. So, you know, when you get the big lunges of a, of a bigger whiting, you can see how you can just use your arm and, and extend, extend down. This one's not a huge whiting, but still, still well and truly legal. It'd be, it'd be close to 30 centimetres, I reckon. This is a unique way of catching them. <laughs> Parachute catching. It's a new sort of style of net. Nice summer, summer whiting. You know, legal size, excellent eating. Um, as you can see, he swallowed that hook right down. Uh, the mustard fine worm. Yep. Okay, got a nice little fish on here. As you can see with the Snyder, the glass rod is very soft in the tip and the slow action. Got a lovely action for these whiting. Uh, he doesn't want to come in just yet. Oh, a nice Look whiting. At that. Nice yes. Whiting. Nice whiting. Good work, Clint. One of the best best table fish you can uh, you can have. Oh, that's another nice whiting. Yep. You need the net again, Clint? Oh, uh, yeah, try all have it. Have the net again so we at least can show the show the people the uh, the fish. So just guide that in. Yes. There's another nice widen there, Clint. Yes, it, that is a nice widening, Troy. This one here, as you can see, it's swallowed the uh, swallowed the hook. Um, so when you when you got the soft tapers of the uh, of the rods um, and the sensitive tip, the um, a bite is not um, felt by the fish, but you can actually see the see the bite with a tip. Here we go. I've just chucked chucked it another one out. And we've caught another another little whiting. This time on the um, on the 11 foot four Caruso, Caruso Island special in the Snyder glass. If anyone's after a feed, that's probably one of your your better size eating eating whiting. Oh, I'm on again. Let's hope this one is the right the right species. It's uh, it like it. it's it's fighting a little bit like a whiting. It's doing a little bit of a staying down deep. Oh, you can see how that's what how good these rods are. 
these Snyder glass, glass rods, they just take all those big lunges out. Let's hope this is the right species. It is, it's a nice little whiting. We'll put him in the net, which only got a light leader on. Let's get Clint in there to get him with the net. We're only using light line here today. I've only got a five pound trace on there at the moment. A bit of fluorocarbon actually. Um, sometimes when the fish get a little bit finicky, you need to go fairly light. Even though the water's quite dirty here where we are, but you know, the lighter line, the more bites you get, I reckon. There's one. Oh. <laughs> We've actually got a parachute anchor out the back here just to um, try and straighten us up in the bit of wind. So I've got to try and work the little fish around. Oh, there's another little whiting. Not not a huge one, but a, um, still a, um, he'd still be legal, eh, Clint? That's right. Another nice little whiting.